All right then gang, so in this series you're going to learn how to create a portfolio site from scratch like this using Nuxt, Tailwind and GraphQL and you're going to see then how to deploy the site as well to Netlify. So there's going to be a ton of good stuff to get your teeth into and practice throughout the course. Now to teach you all this, I've invited Dan Vega to the channel and Dan's got loads more really good videos about Vue, Nuxt, GraphQL and other things as well on his channel. I've really enjoyed watching a lot of his Vue content over the last year, so definitely check him out. The link to his channel is going to be down below the video. Anyway, I'm going to step aside here and hand you over to Dan, who's going to guide you through the rest of this series. Enjoy. Hello, it's Dan. And before we get started, I want to quickly thank Sean and his team for having me on the channel. In this series, we're going to build a personal portfolio project using Nuxt, Vue, Tailwind CSS, and GraphQL. This is what the final project will look like, but of course I want you to come back and personalize this to reflect your own style. I happen to think this is a really great project to work on for a few reasons. One of the best things I did early on in my career was create my own personal blog. This did a couple of things. One, it got me really involved in the community. And two, it gave me something very personal and tangible to work on. Building something for yourself that you have an interest in is a really great way to learn. With that, let's take a quick tour of the finished project that you're going to build in this series. The first thing that you might notice is that it's not just running on my local machine. We have an actual URL up here. That is because we are going to take what we build and we are going to deploy this to Nellify. So we're going to be able to get this out for others to see by the end of this series. So again, it's pretty simple. We have a navigation bar up here. Uh, we have a couple of pages, a blog, a projects page, a uses pages. On the home page here, we just have a little uh, title of who we are, a little bit about ourselves, an image, and then we have the latest blog post. So if we had like 10 or 20 blog posts total, we're gonna display the last three here on our home page. And then we have this footer, which is some copy and some social media icons. If we go over to the blog, we are going to display all of our blog posts. So these are actually written in Markdown. We're gonna use something called Nux Content, which is a really great module for Nux. It allows us to create a file, a Markdown file, and that is kind of the uh, entry point for our blog article. And in this, uh, in each of these articles, we can write with Markdown and we can do things like write paragraphs, use images, uh, all the things that you would expect in Markdown. And if you're brand new to Markdown, that's okay. I'll teach you a couple things and kind of get you going. Uh, but this will be a good uh, kind of refresher for you too if you haven't been back here in a while. The other cool thing that we're going to look at in this course is something called MDC. And this is a Markdown component. So because we're using Markdown, you may, you may come across certain scenarios where you want to create a component in Vue that is reusable across Markdown files. In this case, I have a callout. I would like to create a component where I can pass in some text and have this nice stylized callout that I can use in any of my blog posts. So we'll look at how to create that. And then each of the blog posts have uh, different metadata about it, one of which is tags or categories, and we'll display each of those up top. So we can go back here, we can see another blog post here that has some code, and then here are the tags Nuxt and View. So that's our blog. Uh, we have a projects page, which is going to connect to your GitHub account and display the last X number of projects that you're working on. This is great if somebody doesn't understand what GitHub is, maybe somebody's just viewing your personal portfolio and they wanna see what projects you're working on. This is a great way to pull that content down and use it. And the way that we're gonna do that is through the GraphQL API. So if you've never used GraphQL or you've never used GraphQL in something like Nuxt or Vue, uh, this will be a, a nice little intro to that on the projects page. Finally, we're gonna have a users page. If somebody comes to your site and they're interested in how you built this site, or things that you use every day, tools, hardware, software, et cetera, this is a great place to put that, and the inspiration for this kind of came from Wes Boss's uses page. So that is what we're going to build. We're gonna build it together uh, from start to finish, and we're gonna go ahead and deploy this out to production using Nellify. So I hope you're excited. With that, let's go ahead and get started.
All right, so we're gonna head over to Nux.com and get started by creating our Nux project. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out the Nux website, I will go ahead and take some time to dig around that. There's a lot of really great useful information there. The documentation is really great as well. So to get started, this is essentially the uh, command that we're gonna run, but I'm gonna go ahead and click into get started. It will say, hey, here's the installation. Here's where you can play online without actually having to install anything. If you do need to create a new project, there are a couple of prerequisites. You need to have Node.js 16.10.0 or newer, so make sure you have that. A text editor, uh, we recommend Visual Studio Code with Volar extension and a terminal in order to run Nux commands. There's also some additional notes for an optimal setup. So what we want to do is we want to run this command npx nuxy init and then our project name. So I am going to hop over to a terminal and we're going to run npx nuxy init and we'll call this portfolio. And this will go through and say uh, create this pretty quickly. So it creates a, uh, a new project in a folder of the name that you just gave it. So that, that's in portfolio. And if we go ahead, uh, we can see that it says to install the dependencies with npm install, and then you could start your development server with npm run. So I'm going to do that. Let's cd into portfolio npm install, and then we'll npm run dev. And you'll see that that started up real quick. So for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Nuxt is now built on top of Vite. If you're kind of new to this world, uh, go ahead and check out Vite. It's a really great build tool uh, in the JavaScript ecosystem. It's not just for Vue. It was created by Evan Yu, the creator of Vue, but it is framework agnostic. It supports other frameworks like Svelte and uh, React and a few others as well as simple like vanilla JS projects as well. Vite's really great, and that's what gives us this power to start up so quickly. So we got a new project on localhost 3000. Let's go ahead and go there. So localhost 3000. And you see that we got this minimal, like nice getting started page. So it says, welcome to Nuxt. To get started, remove this welcome page by replacing the Nuxt welcome tag in our app.view with your own code. So that's a really good uh, little tip to get started. And then we have our modules, our examples, and some documentation. So with that, I wanna go ahead and open this up in Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna type code and then a dot to say in the current directory, let's go ahead and open this up. So right away in the app.view, you'll see that we have this Nuxt welcome. Um, and again, that is what was displaying that nice little starter page. What I really love about this is this is all we have to do. We don't need to go in and delete a whole bunch of different pages and files to get up and running. That's it. Now we can start writing our own code. So we can come in here and say, uh, hello, next three, right? And then if we were to go ahead and run this again, say npm run dev, and go back to the browser, you can see that we have Hello Next 3. So real quick out of the box, uh, not a whole lot to change. The other part of that is we get this very minimal project out of the box. With larger frameworks, you tend to get a lot of bloated uh, starting code. So you get a whole ton of folders, a whole bunch of files. This is a very minimal approach. They only give you what you need to get started. As the requirements for your application grow, this will get larger, uh, obviously, but you really get this nice, small, minimal, uh, out-of-the-box experience. So if you look at package.json, you have a few scripts in here. So npm run build, dev, generate preview, post install. Go ahead and check out the docs to see what each of those do. You have um, public, we have a server, and really not much else, right? Um, the Nux config is something that we will work on. Now, if you're looking at this project and you want to understand what each of these files are or as it starts to grow, what each of the folders and files do, the best place to figure this out is to go into the docs section and go into the directory structure. I really like this because it says, hey, if you see this directory called pages, let's see what that is doing for me in my next app. 
So it says Nux provides a file-based routing to create routes within your web application using View Router under the hood. So cool. So now I know that pages are just routes in my application. So you can do this for every single folder and file that you might come across. Uh, we just saw that Nux config. Nux can be easily configured within a single Nux.config. This could be either JSTS or even an .mjs extension. So this is a really great way in a project to find out what each of these files and folders are doing. Okay. So with that, uh, I think we can start to uh, build out our application. All right, so to get this project published to Nellify at the end of this series, I want to go ahead and make sure that we store this project in GitHub because to use Nellify, we're going to hook it up to our GitHub repo, and that's how we'll kind of deploy it to production. So there are a bunch of different ways that we can do this. I'm going to start off by heading over to github.com slash danvega. And we'll just go ahead and create a new repository here. I'll say that this is my Net Ninja portfolio. And that looks good. This is going to be public. We already have a README. And I'm going to go ahead and create a repository. So we want to be in that folder. So I actually am in there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get init. And we'll go ahead and uh, I have a, a, a short command here, an alias to say get status. Uh, so these are all the files that we need to commit. So let's say um, add all of them. So again, another shortcut and one more shortcut to get commit with a message. Say um, initial commit. All right, with that there, I need to set the um, remote. So I can go ahead and say get remote add origin and We'll do that. And with that in place, I can go ahead and push. Oops. Let me just do that so I don't have to do that every time. And now I've pushed it to this repository. So now our initial code for creating this project is in GitHub. And again, as we go throughout this uh, series, Go ahead and try and make regular commits. I'm not going to go through every single commit, but as we add features, it's good to get in the practice of making commits or even branching off and creating feature branches if you want. Um, but we will use the repository at the end of the series to go ahead and push this to production. Uh, so with that, let's start writing some code. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up. And I really hope you enjoy this series. And please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot, and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.